Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalo Sirtata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to make a delicious summertime meal that comes together in under an hour. We're going to be using the air fryer and the instant pot to put together Mediterranean roasted chicken, actually air fryer chicken, with lemony potatoes that are going to be soft and creamy on the inside, crispy on the outside, lemony fresh, so delicious. This meal, like I said, is going to come together in no time. Let's get started. So we're going to begin by marinating the chicken and I'm, today I'm using a whole chicken with the skin and the bones and everything. But you could definitely cut the chicken up in portions or if you already buy chicken that's pre-cut up and portioned, you could use that. You could use just drumsticks and you can also use leg quarters. All, any of those uh, options work. I'm just going to butterfly this chicken and or spatchcock it as we say. And that's very easy to do. When you spatchcock a chicken, it allows it to cook evenly because it's in one flat layer and it just looks pretty. It's easy to serve, but more importantly, it stays juicy and cooks perfectly and it cooks much faster. So you do that by just carefully cutting out the spine of the chicken. You go down both sides of it and then you can discard it or you can use it to roast it like I'm doing today or you can put it in a freezer safe bag where um, you can use it in your chicken stock or broth or whatever whenever you're going to make it. Wipe everything down and disinfect before you move on to the next step so that way there's no cross contamination. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut some slits on the breast and on the thighs. Then go ahead and transfer it into a big bowl because it's time to season it. You can use either lemon juice, the juice of two lemons, or about a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar, white or dark, whatever you have. Two teaspoons of salt or to taste. Two teaspoons of ground coriander. Two teaspoons of ground cumin. A tablespoon of granulated garlic powder. And a tablespoon of dried oregano. I'm also going to drizzle just a tablespoon or two of olive oil and a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour. It's going to help it get nice and crispy on the outside. And then I'm just going to in, uh, season the backside of the chicken with a little bit of salt and just a little bit of oregano and toss it in the marinade. And you could do this step the day before and wrap the bowl with plastic wrap and keep it refrigerated so that way the seasoning can penetrate the chicken and just marinate it really well. Or you can uh, air fry it right away just like we're going to do right now. So you just want to preheat your air fryer to 370 degrees for about a minute or two. And I like to use the air fryers that have the basket attachment, but use whatever you have. Let, the, let it preheat and then go ahead and place the chicken, the marinated chicken in there, breast side up. Next, we're gonna move on to making the lemony potatoes. Lemony potatoes are a favorite. It's one of the most popular recipes on the blog. It's easy to, they're easy to make, they're full of flavor, they're the perfect side. But today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make them using the Instant Pot, and then we're gonna finish them off in the air fryer so they can get nice and crispy. I'm using baby potatoes here, and all you need is two pounds. There was a pound, a little bit less than a pound left over in the bag, so I put it all in one bowl. I'm using three pounds, but the recipe calls for two pounds, and I tested it with all the measurements, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do three pounds today. So put the potatoes in a pressure cooker. If you don't have these baby Baby potatoes, you can use regular uh, roasting potatoes like a russet potato. Just go ahead and quarter them so that way they bake easily and quickly. Go ahead and put them in the pressure cooker with two cups of either chicken broth, vegetable broth, or water. And I'm, I put three cups because like I said, I have more potatoes today. And then you're gonna need a teaspoon and a half of salt. Mix that all up, close the machine, put the lid on, and make sure that you seal it so that way the steam, stay, the pressure stays inside and the steam, does, it doesn't release the pressure early. And then you're gonna set it to pressure cook on high for two minutes. Then let it naturally release for at least five minutes. Then go ahead and open the vent so it can release any remaining pressure. Drain the potatoes out and then put them in a big bowl. I like to also cut them in half so that way they can absorb more of that luscious lemony sauce that we're gonna make. So in a, in a bowl or a pitcher, whatever you have, go ahead and juice a quarter cup of lemon juice. You can put more, it's up to you. I love my potatoes. 
extra lemony, but you can put more or less. I'm leaving it totally up to you. Then to that, you want to add two tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of oregano, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of granulated ground garlic powder. Mix that all up and pour it over the potatoes. Then go ahead and transfer the potatoes with the marinade to the air fryer. And then you're just going to want to air fry them uh, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes or until they get nice and crispy. So the lemony potatoes and the chicken are both ready. Now I did put the lemony potatoes straight into the air fryer basket as soon as I took the chicken out. There were just a few crispy bits of chicken left on the bottom, more, more like marinade. So I just scraped that off and threw it out, but I didn't rinse it or anything like that. Put the potatoes in, let them crisp up in there. They took about 12, 13 minutes, but again, I had an extra pound of potatoes in there. So with the two pounds of potatoes, it should take about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, and then they're gonna be ready. Go ahead and transfer the chicken and the potatoes into a, onto a big serving platter. You can put some lemon wedges around it if you want to finely chop some fresh parsley and put and sprinkle that on top. You can do that for some freshness, but it is time for the taste test. But of course the chicken is going to get to rest while the potatoes crisp up in the air fryer, so it's up to you. If you want to go with like a potato salad, a warm potato salad instead of the crispy potatoes, then you could just skip the air fryer step and just uh, double the amount of the lemony olive oil herby sauce that we put on top of them and that can kind of be the dressing. And then you could also finely chop some scallions, maybe throw some fresh dill in there, maybe a little bit of fresh mint, mix it all up and you'll have a delicious light and zesty potato salad to serve instead of these um, uh, roasted crisp potatoes. It's up to you. It's time for the taste test. I do have some tzatziki in the fridge that I'm gonna take out in a little bit to serve this to my family for lunch. Mm. The chicken is perfectly cooked. It's juicy, it's flavorful, so delicious. The potatoes are zesty and lemony, crisp on the, uh, on the outside, buttery and soft on the inside. You guys are gonna love this one. The exact measurements are on the website, www.dimitrosdishes.com. You can head on over and print this recipe out. If you want to take a look at our shop, we have these cute little aprons on there in several colors. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you're looking for a delicious dessert to serve with this, I just recently shared with you guys my no-bake cheesecake Biscoff trifles. Click over here to get that recipe. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.